Hey, welcome to watercolor tutorial mini version. So paper is super important. You want to have paper that's texturized because it just looks so good. You want to have some good brushes with a variety of different tips. Fine line tips are my favorite, like these little black brushes right here. I bought these as little singles. They're pretty awesome. You definitely want a good amount of water. Uh, my favorite watercolors are these tubes. I've had these forever. I bought some new ones. These are sparkly ones. Um, but you only need a little dot and then even when it dries on your palette, you can reuse it again and again. So here is using watercolor on dry paper. Just standard. Um, I got a spot wet and then I dabbed the watercolor to show a different style. I like to draw lines sometimes and paint with watercolor because you can paint over the lines or in between the lines. This is my favorite technique where you get regular uh, thick nice line, you let it dry just a tiny bit, you get your brush completely cleaned off of paint, then you pull the watercolor. And this technique looks so good for giving you some dimension in your watercolor. And this is just watercolor that does not have much water in it, um, it, but it gives you a cool texture. And then the next style I'm going to do is like the opposite where it's just a tiny bit of paint and mostly water. And that turns out pretty nice also. The type of technique you use really depends on what style you're going for. And I gave you guys like six different styles. So thanks for watching. Enjoy.